night. So as you can see, I just came out the shower, bitch. I just finished taking a shower. And then I had an epiphany, right? An epiphany is when you remember something or you come to the conclusion of something after it had already happened. I think that's the definition. I could be wrong. But in my case, that's what I mean. Okay, first of all, I look crazy too. Let me take this off real quick. So, bitch. What's this? So, bitch. What was it like two months? Was it two months ago or like a month ago or something? I was on Sephora and I had saw that Glam Glow, which is one of my favorite skincare brands, like for masks and shit, um, done released a daily conditioning cleanser and a tropical uh, daily exfoliating uh, cleanser. Glam Glow? Hell no! Nah. <laughs> Let me explain. So I don't know if you guys have been noticing, like a lot of you guys are new on this channel, you guys don't know me or nothing, but this is not my main channel. I have a main channel called Hey Paris, where I tell stories and I do little stupid shit. If you're not subscribed to there, go subscribe now, because if you like these videos, you're going to love those ones. But anyways, if you guys have been noticing on my main channel, my skin was not as, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It wasn't as clear as it normally was. Like, shoot, I'm not explaining. If you look at my, my videos where I'm not wearing makeup on my main channel, you'll see. First of all, I need to wipe my face off. Hold on, because this is mad uncomfortable. I'm trying to make it look cute. Like, yeah, I really did come out the shower and look at me with my water on my face. Bitches over here itching and shit. Like, nah. So anyways, I've come to the conclusion that the reason why my skin was breaking out, the reason why I was having dry flakes all over my chin, which is not normal for me, it's not usual, that don't happen on a daily basis. My Skip the Dishes driver is almost here, bitch. I need to hurry this up. Let me go put on some clothes. Hold on. All right, so like I was trying to say before I was really interrupted by my food was I've been getting dry spots. I've been getting uh, discoloration. Well, the discoloration is from me picking at the dry spots. But like all of my chin over here and on my forehead was just breaking out like nobody's business. And I couldn't understand why. So I decided to, you know, do what you're supposed to do when your skin starts acting up. And that is eliminate products one by one and basically go back to what you used to use and see if that product is the reason for this. Bitch, I stopped using this Glam Glow and this Glam Glow like two two weeks ago and my skin is back to normal. I don't got moisturizer on so I look a little dry and y'all look a little ashy or whatever. But I stopped using these and I went back to my Ula Hendrickson um, foam cleans cleanser, the, the orange one. And I'm gonna just stick with that. I'm gonna just stay with that. Forget the exfoliators, forget all of that because this shit has ruined my skin. It has ruined my skin. I might I add, when I first got it, the smell, it smells medical. It don't smell good. And I know products aren't supposed to smell good, like, because you're not supposed to have, like, fragrances in the products because blah, 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 whatever. But at least make it smell like nothing then, because it smells medical. This smells like I have to take a teaspoon a day in order to get rid of my infection or some shit, like... That don't smell good at all. But I'm a sucker for packaging, so obviously when I saw the packaging look like this, I was like, I need to grab it. Another reason I don't like this is because the cleanser comes out like toothpaste. Bitch, that's not fun. That's just not fun. And obviously you're supposed to mix this with water on your face, but can y'all just see the thickness of this? Like... None of this is going to help you understand what I'm talking about unless you have the actual product. And might I add that, you know, products act differently for everyone else's skin. So what I hate, you might love. I might be talking about this and you might be like, girl, what are you talking about? This is the best cleanser ever. No, not for me. I have dry, semi-sensitive skin and this doesn't work for me. So if you have dry, semi-sensitive skin, I wouldn't recommend. Why the hell did I just put soap all over my damn hand? And then this exfoliator now. It smells a little better, still has that medicated sense. It's not a good smell, but it's supposed to smell tropical kind of, but it, it's not, it don't smell good to me. Comes out like this. And I think it has pomegranates in it. And if y'all know me, I love me some pomegranates. So I think pomegranate seeds are in there. I could be wrong, but that's what the packaging looks like. And just like little tiny, as you can see, grains that help to get rid of dead skin and stuff like that. And I don't know if the exfoliator, um was also the problem like why my skin was acting up 
but I ain't taking no chances. I use them both, the cleanser first, the exfoliator after, and I will come out the shower being drier than ever. My skin will be drier than the damn desert, bitch. And like I said before, what I don't like may work for you, so if you don't have my skin type or you wanna try it for yourself, go ahead, I, I ain't trying to stop you from doing that. I'm just telling you my experience. I stopped using it for two weeks and my skin was restored back to the way it was after discontinuing a product that I was using for a month or two. So I just thought I would share that with y'all. Like, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Glam Glow is gonna have to deposit my coins back into my account. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And these were hella expensive too. Like, hella, hella expensive. Like, that's why I need my, my, my refund. That's why I need my refund because, why I say refund? That's why I need my refund because it destroyed my skin. It didn't help my skin. Why would I keep it? Not, not happening. Anyways guys, leave a comment down below and let me know if you've tried any of these new Glam Glow exfoliators or cleansers or whatever. Let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know if you like it or not and add in your skin type just in case, you know, this works for oily skins. It don't work for dry skin though. That's for damn sure. My lips ashy. I gotta go. I gotta leave. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Toodaloo, Glam Glow. Glam Glow, hell no. Not with this product. Not with this one. No. It's a pass. A hard pass.